For everybody, no matter what style you do, that, that's your freedom. You can do that. What he's trying to do is protect O Sensei's dojo. So he can't change his style. So he said, just please research with him and, and try this style out, and then um, you can pick whatever style you want to do afterwards. And this is a good thing for Aikido progress. Thank you very much. So starting in 1945, O-sensei, you know, started his research about weapons right after the war. Um, finally, he came to, um, you know, after he had done a lot of research, he, had, he came to the weapons that we know today. Go ahead and rest your legs if you want to. And that's the first time that Aiki Joe and Aiki Ken came into existence. So before that, before he had studied himself, he hadn't taught it at all. He hadn't taught weapons at all. And then the very first time that he taught it was in the Iwama Dojo. So, for example, Tohei Sensei, who was there, and um, the present Doshu, um, they went back to Tokyo for some reason, and they just happened at that time not to be in Iwama. Then there was no, O Sensei's parents weren't around, there was no one to take care of him at that time. No, no one came to help him at that time. So um, Saito Sensei and his wife had to do that, that thing, they had to take care of him. So during that time of living together with him, he learned all the weapons. Uh, he was taught all the weapons. Taijutsu, he feels, is, is scattered right now. It's gone off in different directions. There's a lot of good places. There, there are a lot of you know, different senseis that have great things to offer. But for um, the fact that it's been sort of diversified so much, that, that's a troublesome spot. So what he wants to do is uh, prevent the weapons from becoming that way. So he's just going straight on with, with this method. He, he was taught weapons for 30 years, and uh, during that time, no one came and really helped O-sensei. Um, a lot of people went and, um, for example, practiced Musoryu, another style of Joe. And uh, Ken was, pra EI was practiced. And again, there was, there was no help for him to preserve these weapons. So there's no other method but this in order to um, preserve the weapons as he knows them. So 
So this, he's going to do the um, test. He's going to give out a license and a scroll, and in that way, um, he can preserve it. So he thinks it'll, it'll, it'll go directly on and not um, be diversified the way that Taijutsu has. This is just his hope. It, and it's just for people who want the license. It's nothing that you have to get it or anything like that. Please don't misunderstand about it. And the Joe Sabuti, the 20. And um, it, they're all written in detail. So there's a license also and an English translation with it. <laughs> it was very hard to write all this. <laughs> then at the end, he um, puts his thumbprint on it. It's the name. Time he's going to do different kokyuhos and different nikyos. There's a lot of different nikyos. So one, just going to do Taino Henko first. Grab on really strong. If they, if they can't move, then the second time loosen a little bit. First grab very strong. Can't do that with beginners. Just people that know the techniques. Little, little bit, gradually they become stronger. Make a circle. Mm -hmm. The um, feet, the footwork is just like the Udawaza basic. Right to the toe, right in front of the toe. Don't be too far away. Don't be too deep. It's too far away. That happens. It goes like that. It's too far away. Too deep. It goes like that. Too deep. That's what happens. This is just right. Also, if you're too far away, that happens. And too deep, that happens. There's strain with either one. That's just right. It has the most strength in it. No matter how much strength he, he does, it's okay. And there's no... Um, no strain in his uh, movement. For um, in Aikido, the person that can really blend uh, really improves. The person that can take the right angle is the strong person. Anyone can do that. He, he can look and see. So that's why O Sensei didn't want to show everything. He said, I don't, I don't like demonstration. He said, uh, they should steal my techniques. So he cheated in demonstration so that people wouldn't steal his <laughs> techniques. Uh, unless you study it, you don't know. Always in front of center. What? 
Don't, don't be too far or uh, low. Just like a just like a sword, holding a sword. Don't be too high. That's different from that. That's wrong. That's strong. In Aiki News uh, these days, a lot of uh, talk about Daitoryu. You. And uh, oh, since I learned a lot from Daitoryu. You. There are a lot of um, influence from Daitoryu in his. But right after the war, what came out was what he would say, O Sensei style. Daitoryu is a, is a very good martial art. So. But there's a difference between the Aikido today and the Daitoryu. And uh, that, was, that was from the time that O Sensei went to Iwama. The, the stance is basic. Starts from Hamni, from the stance. So from this Hamni, that's where the understanding, the relationship with uh, weapons comes in. This is different from Daitodio. There's a, a lot of um, movement with the hands, a lot of using of the hands in Daitodio. But the kokyu, teaching kokyu, that's Aikido. There's a lot of kokyu ho in. If you, if you can't learn the distinction, you can't teach it. Then there's the relationship between taijutsu and the weapons. And that's another place that's different from um, Daitoryu. So finally, right after the um, right after the war, that became Morihei Ueshiba O Sensei style. Now, now it has become where Taijutsu is separate from the weapons, and the weapons come from other arts. And uh, O Sensei said that wasn't true. So he, he doesn't want to misunderstand that. He wants to just go straight with, with O Sensei's style. Uh, the, then it'll be close with Iwama people. He's, even if he has a small dojo, he'll, he'll keep that going. Now we're going to um, practice the angles. The uh, Kinonagari really was originally for Sandans. <laughs> now it's different. If you, um, if you learn the distinction, then you can teach it. If you don't have the distinction attached to that, um, it'll be wrong. This is a strong basic keiko. Now, now we're going to go into the awas set. Glenn. If you if you aren't real clear about that distinction, then uh, it can be strange. So kinoragan. Before, a long time ago, it was, it was originally just the California group and then the Scandinavian group. The, uh, nowhere else was it found. So it was 20 years after um, the founder died. And now there's a lot of people coming to Iwama from different countries. You can, you can really see with Iwama style. Um, you, because people can understand it easily, they, they feel that it's fun. <laughs> There's about 12 or 13 Ujideshi all the time. Hey! 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 Hey!
This is the movement, the body movement for Morote Dori Kokyu Ho. All together, all together, showmen. This is the movement for Morote Dori Kokyu Ho. It's the same right there. If you go like this, if you do like this, you don't need strength. Go in straight, you need strength. If when it's heavy, you get hit from behind. This is this is for new people. That's too since I quit. Okay, it's an over. Hi, Kody, that's good. Left side, left side, Hamni. So it's like it's as if it's as if he's holding Morote Dori. That's heavy right there. It's heavy. But there's a weak angle. That's it right there. You can do it. Right side. Morote Dori. Not Ken Kamai. Morote Dori. Just like Morote Dori. Put your hands together. That's heavy right there. That's weak right there. They don't need strength right there. Shoulder, elbow, and hip all go down from left side hominy to right side hominy. This is the angle for Kokyu Ho. Don't, don't need any strain at all. If he pulls, it won't come. But that way, doesn't matter. That's, that's because of the angle. Don't, don't fight this right here. Absolutely. It's like make that the center and as if it was a compass, go around it. If you push, there's strain. If you didn't push, there isn't. Don't, don't do ukemi. Do it. Please learn the kokyu. You can always do the ukemi. If you just think of the ukemi, it's, it's like half of the technique. You only get half the attempt. First, practice the technique. Learn the form. So no strained angle with no strain. Three times each side. No kemi. One. So he said, he said, make them like be parallel to each other. And go right there. Look in the same direction. Those were the three things that he taught. And then you just think about it yourself. Can't do that. If you come from below, there's no strain. And then you, you parallel, you line up with that. Look in the same direction. This is the basic from Morote Dori Kokyu Ho. So go parallel, those, those arms are parallel. Take, take your shoulder and put it right next to him. Look in the same direction. 
Line up with that. Go to the side and look in the same direction. That's the basic. The, um, the second, just twist it. Second, the second variation is he twists it. Let, let, the, let the wrist go free. You don't, if, the, if it's easy to do, they learn it faster. If you, if you grab right there where he just pointed, that's the last, that's the last variation. More. Can't do that. Can't go back into it. Bring that there. And that's, now it's more relaxed. From that situation, don't separate your elbow. Big and big and fast. First, for beginners, don't put any strength into it. Let them learn the form. When they learn the form, then little by little, put strength into it. If you're held and you can't move, that's not martial arts. You have to, you have to grab strong with, um, with IQ. So, uh, it, because you can't do it, sometimes you say, oh, don't grab strong. A lot of times people say, okay, they're held hard by their students, they say, oh, don't use strength. It's not martial arts if you can't move when you're grabbed strong. So anyone can do it when they learn the technique. First, extend. You can't do that, so you extend. 180 degrees. One time. Three times each, each side. Los. His hand is right there. So it's as if his hand is right there in the jaw. If you can move with that, there's no strain. But if you move that, then there's strain. That's the, the way of blending. So that's where his hand is. Because he does it like that, he, he ends up in that place. So because he's there, his, his legs are, are bad. That, that, was, that was the wrong way because he pulled it away. So that means that his leg work, his footwork was wrong. Just with that there's strength. So you've got to keep your feet exactly where they are. And then there will be no strength. So he goes there. And then, and then he ends up in that place. So that's why you don't need strength. Okay. Oh, since I used to say the, the movement of the hips comes from the two feet. So, and the movement of the head goes into the hands. So, Aikido, you need a little bit of brain work. A little bit. So, please uh, study that, the blend. Don't separate there. Uh, it'll hurt right there if you do. 
大きく。Big. 少なくとも180度。You have to, you have to go 180 degrees at least. ゆっくりやると痛い。If you do it slow, it hurts. So, so that that doesn't separate. And you have to do it as fast as you can. Very, very large movement. Those three. That's a, that's a strong person here. Don't, don't separate from there. And that's the movement of the hips. From, hum, from the stance, from the humming. Holds it up like that. If he puts strength into it, he goes up. He raises up. So put no strength at all into it. With、uh, strength, you can't put strength at all into it. No, no strength at all. When you've gotten to that angle, then you move in. You go, you go up if you put power into it. Zero strength. Then, then you just come in like the basic. Zero, zero strength. <laughs> For the new people. Just want you to learn one Japanese word. <laughs> Dame. <laughs> If you go in straight, there, there's strain to it. Scrub on it. Going straight down, there's、uh, strength. That's okay. <laughs> Grab one. If you go straight down, it's wrong. But、uh, turn your hips. So you don't need strength then. Then, then you come in, enter. Don't go straight down. Go like that. <laughs> That's bad. That was 100% strength. You. Go,、uh, just like a, go like, don't go like that. What he just did. Put strength into it. Do, don't do it. He's, he's no strength. Gotta, call, gotta grab like that. Everybody's doing it like that. Go like that. Doesn't have any strength in there at all. So that, that's the position. But everybody's doing that. <laughs> no matter how much you go down like that,、um, there are people who、um, try to put their elbow below their shoulder. So if, if you、um, take all the strength away, your elbow ends up being higher. People that are dropping their elbow like that are always doing it with strength. He, he can see it when he looks. Not, not that. 
It, unless you put your elbow, keep your elbow above your shoulder, it's wrong. So to get, uh, take the strength out, you want to have that elbow above. Then they end up like that. Then you enter. Now, now below. Grab low. Can't do that. So he blends with him. So you take your hips and just drop it down after you blend with your partner. Um, spiral in a circular manner. It's, a, it's as if you're holding a ball from below like that. Because your elbows go out, it's a, it turns out to be a good angle. Go like that. Then the elbow comes out. That's the correct angle. Can't do that. So you drop straight down because you can't. A little bit circular. Then there's no problem. There's three from Ushiro Ryo Teidori. First it's there. Then there. Then there. That's one, two, three. You can do that, what he just did with his head and foot, Pushiro. In reality, after you do that, then you go into the technique. But in Keiko, you can't do that. So that's why it's di practice is difficult. You start here. Second is there. Third is there. So uh, know those distinctions. Start in stance. Got to definitely start in stance. Take your hips and bring them back. Senpai went like this, but but there it doesn't it doesn't turn into martial arts if you do that. There you can't really grab so well. It, it's it is good for a technique. It's just it's just not good for grabbing. But he had always always learned to have it connect the the blend with the next technique. Do it like that, it's just that kokyu movement, it's okay. But we're going to go into a technique. So open up your fingers. Right side hamni. So you move to the left, go like, don't do that. Second. Three times each. That's wrong. So, so that you can see it. Then you don't need strength. Now, now uh, grabbing from behind. Can't do that. So you really, really bring your, with a lot of effort, bring your hips back. Then it's the same. Can't do that. Really, with a lot of effort. 
Which moths? That's one. Can't do that. From Humni, from Stance. That's first. Then two. Schmoss. There's no place to, to enter in with your hips. Now it's left side Humni. So put no strength at all into the left hand. No strength in left hand. Go to the right. No problem. So that's right side Humni. So then the right hand, no strength. Go to the left. No problem. You can do it with both. Can't do, can't do it at all. So only one hand. Then it's the same. For, from now we're going to start with Munadori, Nikyo, basic, and then go into variations. If you um, hang it, you know, if you try to resist too much, you won't learn the techniques. So a kohai can't do it to a senpai who's resisting too much. Because they can't do it, they don't learn it. So let go of the strength and let them learn the form. First, it's learning the technique. Main, uh, all of them are the same, but Nikyo, you know, is the, is the angle. There's eight from Munadori. There's a lot that have been left in Iwama. He's uh, 61 and six months. So he'll, he better do all of them because he won't come again. <laughs> so first is basic. Uh, that punch is there waiting, so if you go that, if you go that way. That's, that's good. Grab from below. This is basic. One, two, and three. What you can't do that. For a weak person, you can do it too. But for a strong person, you, you won't be able to bend it. And then you won't be able to move. So for basic, you don't do that. It's right there. That's, that's bad. Strong person can raise you up that way and not uh, just throw you back. So if you take your elbow off to the side and lower your hip and your shoulder. And it's just, even if he pushes, all you do is walk. That's all. Pull, pull. It's just, it's just walking. Go like that, it's already wrong. So absolutely don't load your elbow up on it. First basic. Use your thumb and your little finger and, and then your hip. Take the, take the angle with that hand. Take the angle with that hand. <clears throat> so use that with your um, chest to create that. <clears throat> so you do it as if the little finger is going towards him. That angle doesn't hurt. Absolutely, that little finger has to go towards him. From there even, 
from there even. That's always the angle. So you use the strength of your hips and your chest. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. Right there doesn't, if you're, you know, sort of regal right there, it won't work. Go like that. Only that far, don't pin. Don't resist if you're senpai. Because you want them to learn the angle. If they have the, ang if they have the angle, then you do that. If you do it strong, you might, you know, have problems with your wrists. Do it without um, strain and just study the angles. So we're going to do it until 12. We're going to do three and there. Shmas. If he looks from afar, he can see from behind or in front the angle of the Nikyo and he can know if it's correct or not. If he looks from behind, he sees people that are straight. Looking from behind and they're straight right there with their shoulders and he knows it's wrong. People that are rounded right there um, are doing it correct. Now the, um, all the way down, all the way down. So for the pin, now the opposite for the pin, if you're, if you're um, circular there, then she'll turn around. For the pin, you want to be straight in your back, and she can't move. Someone who's rounded right there, then she can get up. At that time, you round it out. When you do the pin, then you stay straight. He, he can tell when he just looks. Two ways. Uh, the second <clears throat> Do it very um, gently, just a little bit. So, just like the basic, then like that. Right there is where it's severe. Go like that. Up until now we went to there and then like that. Do it very gently. It's the second. This is um, like a, a very severe one. It's called. Do, do it very gently with beginners. And if they tap, you just let go. At that time, he's trying to get away by raising his elbow. It, it hurts like that, so he raises his elbow. Then come from there, and you bring it right to your chest. He, he's trying to get away. And then you just do the pen. But really, anyway, do that. Schmas. So it used to be used in a mote waza. Shomuchi nikyo mote. But uh, to sort of stop being used. There is a problem right here. The same, both techniques. And Munadori Nikyo, of course. Yeah, you have to know the difference between Ikkyo and Nikyo. Ikkyo, you just take the hand. Nikyo, you, you bring it in right there. Put the pressure on. That's. Before I did that. 
Since we do, don't do that now. So, so you use the wrist movement. That's the difference between ikkyo and nikkyo. Now the same. He went up. This is for someone's elbow that's raised in a big person. You come from below. Big, tall person or a high elbow. Don't forget at this time that you're putting the little finger towards her nose, that, that angle. Don't forget that, that angle because this is basic. So the chest and the hips also. If you forget that angle, <clears throat> that's what happens. So you got to have the <clears throat> feeling of bowing and saying you're sorry. If you, if you say, Gomenasai over there, it doesn't do it. I say, Gomenasai over there. <laughs> so this side this is going to really push in there, really extend. Really, really grab very firmly and do that. That's when that happens to you. Then right there, uh, also an atemi comes in. It's uh, just perfect space right there. So, because you sort of run into their fist right there. So you go like that. <clears throat> he didn't do that. So it, it changed the basic. We're going to do that. Now, now what we're doing is extending and doing that. that that's troublesome. This is, a, this is a strong person. Go like that. That's why she bends. Right there, she doesn't bend. Now put strength into it. Don't let him that, that way she doesn't bend. This is with the hip. Is that with the hip? If you if you just pull a little bit, they'll get weak. Right there, they won't uh, bend at all. So you need to bring your hips back a little bit, so they go like that, and then they have half the strength left. Don't, don't do that with the hand. Uh, if you pull back, it'll, it'll fall in. Just go back. Can't do it right there, so just draw back. Then... Up until there is just the same as basic. First we went like that. Now it's to prevent that elbow from coming up. There the elbow comes up. So you use your chest and your little finger. You don't let him come up. Just one touch. Basic. One, two, three. Start to turn, but he he won't come up. 
So you need to you need to get that distance. That one goes like that. Uh, now, in relation to the distance, don't let them come in, and you and you make the angle right there. Don't let the elbow come up. Schmas. First, first you sort of close in the distance. Doing that. You go like that, it's just the same as before. So it's the relationship with the moai, the distance. Just just like that is fine. Either one is the same. So there's no um, no reason for that, no use. Then grab. Don't do that. It's the first one. Second, third, height, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight. Oh, uh, since I did this as a joke in demonstrations. It was like that to turn it. Then grabs with the other hand. That's on. That's the feeling. That hand goes like that. And then there goes, that goes there. Then on top. That hand goes like that. Then use your thumb like that. Then, then it's like relaxing. <clears throat> 
Turn it over like that. Goes there. Don't go like that. So it's like um, wrapping your arms. That's the feeling. <laughs> Take it there this time. So, uh, just like before, you gotta put the little finger right towards the nose, turn a lot. Yoshinkai does this a lot. Weishiba uh, sensei, old sensei did that. Yeah, Yoshinkai. Ah, Just like that, up until now. Go like that. And then it. <laughs> Go there. Then right under the under the ribs to the side. At this time grab the wrist. That's that's okay, but uh, sometimes you lose strength doing that. So put that um, thumb right there. Right there, you put the thumb. Then you got more strength. Go like that. Sometimes you lose the strength. Right there. That time you grab there. First use the blade of your hand and then doesn't doesn't hurt when it's straight right there. If it uh, comes that far, then you're sort of gone on it. So you stop that. If it's the same, that's wrong. The strong person wins. Strong, strong predicament there, strong person wins. Let's go like that. He's, he's up he, and Sensei's down. So use the blade of the hand. Then. This is the situation. That's wrong. Need to do that with your elbow and wrist. <clears throat> that, that doesn't really hurt so much. Go like that. Go like that with your hand. And it's two times stronger. It's one. It's two. Three. Four. Then he then he pushes out. Five. From the beginning. Six. 
It went like that. Next is just like that, seven. Then grabbing your gi, eight. Nine. Well. And then that one, ten. That's eleven. Please um, learn the differences and study them. And then um, from the front row, tedori. Can't, can't do all of them from in front and in back, but. But just do the important points that have to do with basics. In the afternoon, um, what we did yesterday, we'll, we'll do again, we'll repeat. And then go on a little bit more. Is that okay? <laughs> Oh, open your hand a lot and grab strong. Hello. This is the Kinonagari of Tanahago. When he uh, puts out his hand, then, he, then the uh, partner comes and grabs it. Blend with that movement. There's no need to go in fast. The the um, practice of blending, that, that was the most important thing for the founder. Um, for kaishiwaza, that's, th that's the most important thing. If there's a lot of strain, you won't be able to, to uh, turn it over, to change it. If you do it fast or with strength, it's wrong. The blend is important. For, for Aikido, the, both the Taijutsu and the weapons start with the blend. Go ahead and relax your legs. So it's Shomenichi Kyo. It's going to explain it. He, t he takes the feeling with, his, with that strike right there. That's the blend with that hand. And with his, with his foot, he takes the partner's balance. So that's why um, for this technique, he uses both hands, uh, both hands and his feet to do it. It's written in O Sensei's book. Uh, what's written is you use both your hands and your foot together to move in. And I'm the one that he says I'm the one that initiates the move. If he if he doesn't put his hand up, he gets hit. So it's different from that. If you go like that, you can't you can't really do that. It just blends. He, what he's doing is is calling him out. That that hand blends and then that foot takes his balance. This is um a, a point, important point in Ikkyo Mote. If that foot doesn't come in, he can bring him back the other way. Because this foot comes in, that, that's what happens. But it was is the same. But it was starts with the opposite hamni. Uh, if he doesn't 
if he doesn't do it, he'll, he'll get thrown back. Can't, he can't come back on that. So it's the blend plus the, um, the turn of his stance. That's wrong. Next is just moving the hips. That's a, a point for the basic of um, Urawaza. So I'm, so, I'm sorry, I kind of went off into a tangent. That's the blend. It's the blend. The blend for Taino Henko. That's the blend. That's the blend. That's the that's the way of blending. So the timing for that basic movement is, is this. Three times each. So your hip and your shoulder and your um, elbow and your feeling all drop down and um, blend in circularly and look in the um, opposite direction. Just only that far, you don't need ukemi. So if you take the kokyu out of aikido, it's, it's just like sumo or something where you need a lot of strength. Just that far. The, he's talking about kokyu, but um, appropriately you use the angles. And uh, he explained that yesterday, but... Even, even, if, even if he lets go of all the strength, with his angle, he can do it. Doesn't need strength there. Need strength there. There, no strength at all. So one, two, three, you can do it. So when we talk about the blend and the angle, you can't do that with just your arm. Yeah, use the stance with your hips. With your, you can't just do it with your hand or arm. So it all comes from the stance of your hips. You can't do it with that. So you go from right side hamni to left side hamni. Blend at that point. It, they won't be able to move if you push or pull. Push or pull can't do it. Blends right there. One, two, and three can do it. It's the same. Look, look there. It's the same. So th that's where the blend happens. Just like a moving around a compass. So 
That's the basic of Moroti Dori Kokyuho. So that's why if you practice, anyone can do that. Starting with correct stance and correct movement of the hips. Won't be able to cut doing like that. There you can go. Shil nage, if you don't turn your hips enough, can't throw. That too, you got to really come around. So one more time, basic, I'm going to practice. We put a key into it because this is a martial art. As you drop down, step in. So the front front foot goes to the side. Drop down. Turn your hips. Look in the same direction. That's the same. So the taijutsu and the weapons are all the same. So that's the Aikido Bo Sensei. We're going to um, open our um, footwork. Can't, he can't raise him up. There, there are some people that might be able to do it, but he can't do it. He did a test with a lot of the students from, from different prefectures in Japan. And when they were there, they can't, there was, there was a few that could, but they, basically they couldn't raise up at that point. But you can do that. Do a test. Try, try it out. Basic techniques of Aikido, really, they don't have a lot of strain in them. Today, first do that. There, there's one, there's techniques from both of those. It's, it's difficult, like, for a small person and a big person. There's a lot of strain with that. So, so a little bit. Th that's different. Right here. Right, it's, it's difficult um, at that point, so he just right, it, right as he stands, he turns. But that's not kokyu ho. And today, but today we're going to do kokyu ho practice. A little bit above, yeah. He can do all that. He just did. But don't think about those. Today it's the practice of kokyu ho. Really, in reality, knocks his head back or whatever. So don't think about that. Just do kokyu ho. Right? If he does it like that, he'll slip up and get his neck. So don't do that. So pretty much we do that, they'll slip up and get the neck. But in Aikido we have hamni stance. Drop your hips and a little bit lean back. Just the, then turn. So from stance, go back, lean back, and at the same time do that and turn. Go back. So yeah, he can't get his neck. He does that. So dropping down, he turns. Just with his hips right there, he can throw. Oh, stand up in the back if you need to. In the back. 
So from the stance, go like that. Turn like that. And so he can't get his neck, and then he can just go right there to the leg and drop him. Can, from the stance, goes back, and then from right there, that's the practice, the koku practice. And you won't get, you won't get your neck. And you try to go forward, it's wrong. So you absolutely have to do that. You do that. So that's why you do that movement so it doesn't get to the net. Right there, he, he'll go in. That's wrong. That time, you turn your hips. It's dangerous because the uh, back is. Back is to get his face so he turns his head. Turn your head. From stance. Drop your hips with this coqu. The same if, if you don't, if they don't come apart, they hurt. <laughs> so, uh, as you, when you do that, you get your head back, so it's dangerous. Go so like that. At the same time, head goes back and then yeah. If you don't, if the hands don't come apart, they're going to really hurt. And uh, when you take your hands apart, that head could come back. So turn your head. That's the coaching. This is the practice, coaching practice. Come on. Your hands hurt, you won't be able to um, practice. So you go like that, then he can't do anything. <laughs> Test that. That's that's bad. Go there. That that's wrong for Taijutsu also. That's simple. That's a um, that's a mistake right there. They can get up. That's simple. So the basic for the um, kihon of the would say that was wrong in any woman. That's the basic for kaitenage. That's wrong. That's where you ground. Dude, don't think about your feet or kicking or anything. Think about technique. Take one one side off. Let's go like that. There's a lot with Ryote Dori. 
四方投げ、小手がえし、縮み投げ、呼吸投げ、腰投げ、ペン投げ。All, all those techniques. Can't do all of them.、Uh, Ikkyo is basic, so do that first. And then those three, Shionage, Tenshinage. Then next year. Start.、Um, Start e q u from、um, starts in the same hominy. Both, both of those are the same. Big, big movement. No matter how much strength he puts into it, it's no problem. Both, use both hands. Big move. And have that straight out from the shoulder. That hand is strong. Can't pull it. So if you try to do that, you just pull it. That's weak right there. Let's go there. Don't need any strength. Drop your hip, drop your、uh, elbow. Turn your hips. Can't do it right there. And that's dangerous. If it goes that way, it's easy. Can't do it right there. But it's easy over there. It's、uh, safe. Punch. Can't do it with strength. Punch. Can't do it like that. Comes over there, it's easy. Dude, put strength into it. Can't do it there. Comes over there. More strength. Very simply, you can turn it over. That's why you make that angle in the,、um, you create that angle in the elbow. Drop the elbow. That's why you drop your elbow. And then you have that angle there. So it's like a、um, parallel perpendicular. Don't, don't do it with the、um, hand. Correct stance. If you, don't, if you don't have that, you won't get good in Aikido. Grab one strong. 
Just go like, just move it over like he did. Go like that. Just what he did. And then just turn it, just do what he did. Just two, two fingers, Pat. Two hands. So anyone can do it. <laughs> With the hip, you make the um, elbow do that. Can't do it with your hand. First you go there up until there's the same. Up until there's the same. Same as Tano Henko. Same as Tino Henko. Shmas. If we think about Yote Jodi first, we think about Shihon Nage. Or Kokyu Nage. Tenshi Nage. Well, all of those are important. So first, Shihon Nage. One more person. Over there. Grab Morote. Grab Morote. That, that strength. Kokyu. That's the um, angle right there. Yeah, it's got, if it was him, he'd be putting more strength in it. <laughs> That's the angle for Shio Nage. He goes like that. That's the angle for Shionage. So anyone can do it. But because this is martial arts, we put key into it. One or, or two people, doesn't, it doesn't matter if you don't have any strength, you can still do it. And that uh, correct angle comes from the stance, comes from the hip turn. <laughs> the, don't use it, don't use strength when you do it. There was uh, something that O Sensei said. The movement of the hips come from those two feet. And the movement of the, um, <clears throat> the brain goes into the two hands. Nineteen fifty six. That's what he did when he entered the Jojo. It's the first time. Gradually, he wouldn't be able to move strong people. So um, they were using the strength of their hara, their center. Hi. Uh, that, that's colloquial for, oh, sensei's word that means no good. 
He said, let's do it from the side. And then there was a, um, no problem at all. <laughs> and then you could do, so you could do you won't sell shionage until you die. <laughs> That's the feeling. Then 180 degrees, right in, on top of your head. That's the um, angle, that's the uh, form that you want to throw from. And then a lot of people think about the ukemi there. Then the, the technique sort of falls apart. People think about the um, ukemi more than the technique. So people that are doing big ukemi all the time um, end up being weak. So the throw is, is um, hard, and the ukemi is soft. So up until that point, don't think about ukemi. You, want, you, you have a correct form, and then you just throw softly. So be, before we get to the point where you would do ukemi, He's going to create the form of the throw. <laughs> then it's easy. There's no reason to throw that way at that point. It's not ukemi practice, it's, it's Aikido practice. Hundred and eighty degrees? That's wrong. So a strong person can counter it. So in, in that you can't use a sword. You wouldn't use a sword that way. The sword is used that way. It's written in O So it's written in O Sensei's book that you do this thinking of doing uh, practicing with a sword. All the way to that point, it's on top of the head. And then after that, it's easy to throw. If you do that, it's like you're teasing. You're that, that's why injuries happen. Basic ukemi. It's just it's just a a roll like that. That's the basic up until there. <clears throat> but if you take Tobu Kemi big high falls, no. it's it's not hard on him actually if you do big ukemi. And the person that throws doesn't need to, to put anything. Right there is where the technique ends. Basic is different all the way to the end. All the way to the end. And the person is saying the ukemi, all the way to the end. Because you're doing it gently, you get strong. If you do it fast, you won't get strong. So basics are you do them slow and carefully. Right from there, circularly and, and gently. That's the basic practice. Then you, then you get fast, good. Then you get good fast. It's a very good practice. It's 100% the feeling of sword. So the, this is the four directions, the shi hole. This is the eight directions. There's, there's a enemy over there. Goes like that, he'll get cut. But this time, Throws, throws right there.
So right there he throws. So right there he throws. He's, al he's always in the same spot. He's always starting in the same spot. And always the left hand. And he's always over there. It's the same position each time. For a she, if you throw in four directions, you can throw in any directions. And um, Aikido, the shield, that's why shield nage is the, is the uh, most important practice in Aikido. Someone came from behind, turns. Somebody came from there, turns. <coughs> That's it. With that feeling, we do shionage practice. First, some motivasa. Right from there, gentle, all the way to the end. One time, there was a student who kind of hung in there, <clears throat> and uh, he, he just threw him down and. That, that wasn't his, he didn't cause the injury. It was because the person was resisting so much. That's the only, it's the only incident. No matter how much, you know, they're taking big ukemi, um, there's no injuries. <clears throat> so if you do it correctly and carefully, there should be no problem. <clears throat> the technique is severe and the throw is gentle. In demonstrations, you do big ukemi. But you throw according to you know how they can do the ukemi, of course. So with with good clean ukemi, there shouldn't be any strain. If you don't blend with your partner and you do it too strong, then there's injuries. And if you, you know, if you do the opposite, then there'll, there'll absolutely be injury. He, he said he could cause an injury at any time. But then he wouldn't be able to train tomorrow. <laughs> so I, if you're in a fight, you have to do that. It's fine, but... Uruwasa. Starts from the opposite hamni. As you open up to the side, you grab. Don't grab right there. Grab there. You go, you go that far if, if someone were behind you. You wouldn't be able to cut somebody in behind if you went that far. With that angle, he won't be thrown. Because he, throw like, because he throws like that, he'd injure him. And he can counter him. Correct your, correct your footwork at that time. He can't resist. Can't get away. Correct, uh, correct, Keiko. You don't force it. You don't, and they won't be able to get away. So that far. That there's that. There. He won't be able to resist? If he did, that's what he would do. Cut to the rear. Hold on. 
all the way to you. So he's studying every day. He, he thinks, how can I um, give my explanation where people can understand it quickly? And how can I make people progress fast? And how can I prevent injuries? So uh, now, now he's, he's really thinking about that now. So that's why he has dames in his saying that you're wrong. One hand goes behind. The other, the other hand does that. To both of them. Ten, is, ten means heaven. So that's why it's ten shinag. Big move with your feet. Go to the right side when he's right side hamni. Go to the rear. Grab. He, he, grab him, grab him, grab him. That's the most dangerous point in Tenshinagi that, that if he lets go, if he doesn't open up a lot, he can come in and grab. So you do it as if that place is running into him. And then if he takes that away his hand, there's no problem. He can't he can't come in. Don't you don't get your elbow up. You don't have your elbow up at that point. Do that very slow and carefully. Goes below and to the rear. Don't have your elbow up. And then gently, you can go just that far. You can do both. If, if someone's just taking falls for you, um, you won't know your own technique. So um, if they're just, you know, if they're just taking a kemi for you, you don't have to, don't do a kemi. Goes to the rear. That hand, doing kokyuho and not raising his elbow. So you do that and then you can go into kinonagale. Do, do that, just, just as you are. If you can do this dance, you can do it. <laughs> do it no Kemi. That's the Kinonagari part of Yotit, uh, Tenshi Nagari. Hello. Yes, ma. People are doing kind of strange things. A <laughs> little, little bit wrong. Tenshi Nagari is 100% Kokyu, the feeling Kokyu throw. That's the same as Tenshi Nagi. Then there's the one to the outside. Or opening up to the side. That one also. Uh, 
This is from the inside. For a kokyunage, you always look in the same direction as your partner. Either, either one is fine. Go from the inside and go from the outside, go like that. Just that far. Dude, for one hand, it's no problem. But for two hands, if you do it from below, you'll run into. So you, you come from the inside. That's wrong. At this time, he makes a tall person small. That's the uh, turn of the hips, the, the twisting of the hips. Big person um, becomes small. For a big person, you throw to the side for an iminage. He, he just stands up. Stand up, stand up. He just stands up if. Um, so, uh, for a very tall person, you go to the side. So, this one also make a tall person small. Then next is kinonagare. Faster. The same body movement. No matter how much strength they put in, with the turn of the hips, it's no problem. It's the kinonagare. And then you don't even touch. And the la last is that. That do a lot of basic because then you'll get stronger. Uh, he did. He did very strong. Oh, sensei, the founder did very strong basic training for sixty years. He's he's sixty one right now. And uh, oh, sensei always said that. So when he would see um, very light training, he would get angry. There, there's a style, Hombu Dojo, there's a style that doesn't have um, weapons. That, so that's very mysterious why it isn't there. Um, o Sensei got angry at one point. So um, he said, Well, I'm not going to teach the weapons. This is from Sandan, uh, normally. He's, we're doing a little bit earlier because he wants you to understand it. How, you need to know the distinction between basic and kinonagare. If you don't know that distinction, that's kinonagare. Basic. That's basic. And then little by little, according to the levels, you uh, progress. It's the same. Okay, then, um, for example, one hand grab. Because you can do that. In the old days, took a knife out and stuck. Or that, that's how you can you know, break them, break the back. Or right there, break the arm. Ah! 
It was all from that movement. The um, body movement is the same. One more time. Just that hand changes between kokunage and tenshinage. That's kokunage. That's tenshinage. Just, just the hand changes. That goes that way. This one goes that way, small. Or go low. <clears throat> or to the other side. Koshinage, Kokinage to Jujinage. Those those three go together. There's the Koshinage. Kokinage. Jujinage. So the, it's it's different with the distance. We've been doing uh, above for Kokinage and below with the hand for Tenshinage. The uh, body movement's important. Next is this technique, Yotidori Kokinage. In the old days, there was, there was one, just that one. But there's small people and large people. So he, then he made three, then he divided into three iriminages, below, up, and middle. If you go up, it comes from below, the hand comes from below. If you go down, the hand comes from above. And it comes from the center, it's the last one. There's three. Before it was just that one, long time ago. There's three, three ways, the new, three new ways. First is from above, uh, from below and up. If you look that way, you can't get it. You can't take the hand. If you look that way, it'll come out. The hand will come out. Just that far. If you do that, he can hang on. It's like that. If you go like that, he can he can come up. Do it, go like that. Can't. And then uh, get your elbow. And when you go to um, throw, he can just move away. Here he can't get away at all. And the elbow he can't come in. And you don't need any strength to throw him. This is from uh, Tohei Sensei, Koichi. He went to Hawaii first. When he came back, that's what he had learned. Then um, it uh, became popular in Homo Dojo. The basic is there, can't get in, and he can't resist, and he can't get away. If it's not an absolute entering movement, he doesn't enter enough. He goes to move, he, he can turn, he can get away right there. So that's good. That, that's why, that's kind of cheating right there. And then you need strength to throw. And he can get in. And he can um, walk away easily. This is a, a good way of doing irimi nage, but it's not good for practice. For correct irimi, you go in like that. If that's difficult, 
So that's why you get good fast. The um, difficult method, you get, you get good faster. It's for your own. Can't do anything. Can't get, it, can't get away. The old tidori is the same. There, there's two ways. You can either go to the to the collar and back or to the hip to pin. You can pin the hips right there. Can pin pin the hips. Or uh, get the back of the collar. That's what he taught. So he, he would say, either pin the hips or go in the back of the collar. Practice that way. This is, in reality, this is a good method. It's not a, it's not a full edemia, full entrance, but... We're going to do, this afternoon we're going to do uh, counters from edemi nage. And then again he'll explain about edemi nage. Kaishi waza is actually secret technique. You can't show it, absolutely you can't show it. You can't teach it. It's not something to be um, used in the dojo as practice. If you do kaishi waza practice in the dojo, you won't do. You won't be doing uh, real practice. So uh, you'd have to. He, he would. He would close the dojo then. The old days, it was like one teacher, one student. You go into a room. And you put paper on all the windows so no one can see. Then you taught. So kaishi waza uh, can't be shown. So someone who um, teaches it or um, or shows it, he'll he'll just um, exile them. This is kinonagani. Come. Okay. If if it's too. If he's too fast, if he's too early, that would have happened. If he's too early, that would happen. So you blend with it. And if you do it too fast, it's wrong. If you do it with strength, it's wrong. Uh, if you're too late, you won't be in time. He'll just move, move, move away. So you go in. Every every one of them is the same. So more, more than that, actually, that's better right there. That makes them too far away. The um, arm can, elbow can come in right there. There is one technique from there. That's like a, with a strong thrust, strong skin. Can't, can't do that, and he can't move. At that time, you put it there. Put it right into your arm. That's a special one. 
For some people do that. Come around and if you did if you did that, you'd be like strangling him. And that's hard on him. And uh, rude. Uh, the old samurai never did rude training. So um, for correct entrance, that's what you do. If you uh, want to do a strange one, then okay. for um, for correct irimi, that's what you would do. So in order to get strong, in order for the person to get better, go there. Right, right, those places might be a strange. You enter in correctly. Doesn't really matter where you grab. We're doing this in order for people to enter in correctly. If you do correct entering, if you enter in the correct way, it really doesn't matter where you grab. You could grab all those places. There's no problem. The, the problem is the entering, the practice of it. So if you do, go just that far, you're not entering. You want to go that far. So in doing that, you open up to the side right there. Open your stance. Then, it, then you've entered in enough. <laughs> now we've got it. So you got the first chance. Then you got the second. If they if they've run away, if they've gotten away, then you've got the second chance. Um, for the kaishi, for the counters, you have different levels. You need to blend with that. We did a lot of kokyu today. So we won't do the kokyu dosan. No. Hey, line up.